The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And that's not the start that he was looking for as he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now a give right side. It's Carson. That he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three and now a much tougher third down looming. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that will be incomplete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And this will be taken at the 13. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now the Auburn product, Corey Grant. And he's not going anywhere to start the night. They stop him at the line of scrimmage. The tackle made by K.J. Wright. The stop for no gain brings up second and 10 from the 20. Now a give, right side. Grant. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Corey Grant, an 80-yard touchdown. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. I think they're actually intimidating defenses because they're back on their heels right away, wondering where it's going to come from, how they're going to hit them. This group is well organized, well coached, and extremely confident in what they do. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Wilson and the Seahawks take over now, first and 10 at their own 21. They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. From the 24, Wilson buying time to his left. It's complete to Lockett. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play on the catch and run covering 34 yards. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that? One? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. They run it with Carson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 15 yards on the play, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Now Wilson. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Justin Evans. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They'll run on first down. It's Grant. And he 
Breeze into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Corey Grant, 97 yards. And the Bucs get the quick strike touchdown. And a pair of rushing touchdowns now for him in the first quarter. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from his big guys up front because they're winning the leverage game. How many times have we talk about low man wins, right? Move the defensive front aside, create those gaps and holes. He's found his way through them for two touchdowns. And after both of those touchdowns, he went right up to that O-line and hit each of them on the helmet. That's he a, recognized That's it. a smart man. You know what else he should do? If this continues, take them all to dinner. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. He was out there waving his arms. I mean, you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help. I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. It's a gain of 12 first down Seahawks. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. On first down, Carson. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. And somebody sh is this intercepted? It is. It's intercepted. Picked off down near the five. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Check, check. Look at me. Go on. Go on. Check nickel, nickel, nickel. Check the backer. Check the backer. They'll run on first down. Grant. And yeah, this is going to double their room to maneuver. Able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. Another good run there for a guy who, remember, on Wednesday was named NFC Offensive Player of the Week for what he did a week ago. Yeah, and you know it takes some solid runs and some extra special ones in order to win that type of an award. I think he's locked in and wants to get it done a second time. Tighten up. Tighten up. Squeeze. Hit on second down, it's Grant, and that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. Well, from my vantage point, that's just one bad play by the offensive line and a running back who's had a lot of good ones tonight. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's not going to be ticked off, nor is the offensive line, because to me it's a lot like a no-hitter, right? Pitcher's throwing a no-hitter, gives up a hit late. You're so close to accomplishing everything you want and don't quite get it done. They'll come back with a vengeance on the next play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Returnable for Lockett. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And it'll be Seahawk football first and 10. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying. It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 33 yards that time. So a big play as it gets him all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. It's caught, lock it. 
And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. That's over 40 yards of movement with those last two plays. An inaugural trip to the red zone here for the Seahawks. This is first and goal from about the eight. Now a first carry for their fullback. And they'll get this from the eight to the five. Pick up a three. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Carson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now from back at the five, this is third and goal. Here's Wilson. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. William Golston. He's the culprit, causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. And Myers able to knock it through. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14-3. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds like counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. You ain't got nothing. You ain't got nothing. Check three. Check three. On first down, Grant. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Hey, Alpha. Step. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert, room here to run. And he brings it back to right around the 26. Solid run on first down. Gain of seven. Leaves him with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Wilson. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down. That fits the bill. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. And he's going to be taken down here still a couple yards short of the first. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. They got the interception, but very little movement after, and that forces him to settle for three. And it does feel like settling when that happens, doesn't it? It certainly does, but we got to give a lot of credit where it's due, and that's to the defense because they ran onto the field. This is what we call sudden change, right? Interception, you got to go put out the fire, and they did, holding them to a field goal. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. On second down now, it's Grant. And he's got some space here. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Corey Grant. 
on his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. He lets it fly for Lockett. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again. Wilson. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. He's got a man complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. I think it's pretty safe to say that initially they had to be thinking about trying to get into field goal range. But after that shot right there, they've got to be thinking bigger right now. And that was probably their thought offensively. If we hit this, great. Let's go for the end zone. If not, settle for a field goal. Looks like they can try to hit pay dirt. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. On first down, it's Carson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. On second and 11 now, Wilson. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Levante David. He's on quite the interception run. He had two last week, another one here. Remember, he's not a DB, he's a linebacker. But how many of those linebackers started as DBs and pumped themselves up into being linebackers? So the ball skills are the same, right? The coverage skills and responsibilities are the same, and he is paying it off in a big, big way. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And how about that for just running out the clock? That's good for 21 yards and a first down. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Any weapon? Get him! Get him! Hey, hey, we're ready? On first down, Herbert is going to fire one deep over the middle and a double coverage and it's intercepted. Tedrick Thompson picks it, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Here's the Seattle offense ready to get this drive underway. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. Myers' kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we come upon halftime and what's a 12-point game at the break. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. The Bucks with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. This is feeling a couple yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was trying to find O.J. Howard, and it's third down. Trying to get that one to his tight end, and they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know, there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. On third down, Herbert. 
It's complete to Graham. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That's good for a Buccaneer first, a pickup of 12 yards. Ready, break. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now! Hey, Echo! Here we go, D. 57. Mike, 57. Echo! Operating from the gun. Herbert. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. A big pickup there. 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. So from Seahawk territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. in there for a loss of nine after the sack it's second and 19 and the road gets a bit tougher from here here's a quick hitch route and the throw complete I always laugh when people say what's the toughest route to defend and I'm like any of them especially if it's a good receiver that makes things very difficult but when you're running a drag route something short shallow going through defenders using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open that makes things tough for guys trying to get to the football. Hey, team six, team six. Right there, 54, right there, right there. 54, Mike. Get it. To throw on third down, Herbert. That is caught. It's Perriman. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks' 22-yard line. Whatever the discussions were at halftime to try to slow down this offense, it has not worked to this point. Yeah, I have a vision right now of everything that was discussed at the half just being torn in shreds or being erased off of the Microsoft Surface tablets because none of it is working. They are really locked in on offense. And they'll get this down to the 10. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Hey, lock it. Check 26, check 26. Check, cross, rock, rocket, rocket. Check 99, check 99. Deep grip, deep grip. This is Grant. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. That last play, though, not indicative of the night he's had running the football. No, you're exactly right about that because all through this evening, it's been their night, hasn't it? One play here. They get it against them. I wouldn't worry about that very much at all. Just continue to do what they've been doing. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Set ready. 30 base. Offensively, several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend. Don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Huh, you like Come that on, one? What does it mean, break out the... Just because you break chestnuts? I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. There's Wilson to throw. This one into the hands of Metcalf. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. First down, Seattle. 16 yards the game there. There's Wilson. He's going to wind up and air it out. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The intended receiver was D.K. Metcalf, and that'll bring up second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Wilson. And that one incomplete. They try to sneak in a deep ball with the clock running down, but to no avail as time will expire on this third quarter of play. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll try and throw for it with Wilson. They'll find Metcalf. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That one good for 14 and the Seahawk first. Throwing again here, Wilson. Going for it all. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. On first and ten, Herbert is going to float this one deep right side. And that's caught inside the 35. And he takes it all the way down to the 28-yard line. Still throwing the football here, even with the big lead. Yeah, I know you and I came up in a different era, and we think about sportsmanship and all that. Other people think about fantasy points and getting their numbers. That's all they care about right now. They'll run on first down. Grant. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They go back to Grant. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. On third down, it's Grant. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. That winds up being a four-yard loss and leads to fourth down. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. And they're going to take it all the way down and just take the delay. And that'll set them back five. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. This to make it a three-score game late. And he missed it. He missed it just wide of that left upright. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Now this one now, not over yet, Charles. You've got a sliver of hope on that other sideline. You certainly do, because that would have made it a three-score game, and that probably would have been curtains at that point. But now if they can get down the field quickly and somehow get the ball back one more time, we may have a different ball game. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave them with a third and about five. And the trend continues here in the fourth like it was in the first, second, and third. He's had nowhere to run. And you're probably thinking to yourself, why do they keep feeding him the football? Well, they trust him first and foremost. They do believe that over time he might actually pop one of these runs. But the bottom line is he takes care of the ball well for them, so they keep handing it to him. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Justin Evans. And he's able to get it back to the 41-yard line. 
Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I'm up as the offense coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. They'll keep it on the ground. Grant, and they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. third down and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here they'll keep it on the ground it's Grant and he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage and whistles and we're going to have another stoppage of play as they call the timeout on defense with 1.53 left. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Out of bounds as he appeared to be looking for the corner. He got it. They're going to mark this at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. First down, Seattle, 16 yards the game there. On first down, Wilson. He's going to let it fly. And nearly another interception. They've been around the ball all game. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Wilson after the play fake to Carson. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Justin Evans. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. Yet another interception, and I just had to double-check my math. But it is now eight between last week and this week. Well, I just used the calculator. I didn't worry about double-checking it. But the thing that always throws me when you see quarterbacks in this... And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 40, 20, 10... Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Corey Grant, 87 yards as the Buccaneers tack onto their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Coming to the line here to begin their next drive, the Seahawks offense. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. Yeah! 
And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. So fire the cannons. It's a victory here for Tampa Bay. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought... Another brother better, you will never find. I've been in my bag like groceries. Competition shouldn't take shots, take notes, please. Reporting live from the winner's side. Ready, try, keep a different vibe. Is you down the ride, down the tide? You will never know, you ain't never try. Work it out, hit the gym, hit the field. Hey, yo, I need that. Big chips, man, I need that. Hustle hard. On the job, you can see that. On my head is real good. We don't need your feedback. They clear the way when my crew coming through. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. What I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Now what I do? Lace up the shoes, chase the rings. Yeah, beats me with the machine. Chase on the news. What I do? Lace up my shoes, chase W's. Great color coops. Who no no, I can't be number two. MVP the league most valuable. They sweet as apple juice. Talking trophies, I didn't grab the few. Can't match this attitude. I wear my heart on my sleeve, please. I move like the wind, can't catch this breeze, freeze. Stop you in your tracks, it's not no preseason. We see King W's like Tupac used to throw up. Forget it, might as well forfeit your team, shouldn't even show up. What you want to be when you grow up? They used to ask me. Naturally, I chose an athlete. Competition never matched me. We ain't go together. Like camouflage and polka dots. Focus on your position, just know your spot. Sure, don't stop. It's a long season. They planning on winning for the wrong reasons. Trying to get my...